President Biden is making a push in his first 100 days to get all K through eighth grade students back in the classroom full time. And health experts say it's possible. COVID-19 specialist Amanda Decker explains how this could help ease the stress and pressure on families and children and how it needs to happen in order to keep teachers and staff safe. We need to get the children back to school for sure. As students bounce between in-person and virtual learning or as kids are pulled from school because of a positive COVID test or quarantine, families can start to feel as though they just cannot get into a routine. Those disruptions can have a big psychological impact on people. And that's exactly why medical experts are now trying to work on a plan to safely reopen schools across the country soon. In the next few days, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to release a new set of guidelines laying out recommendations on safely reopening schools. While most are back to in-person learning, there are still several Lauderdale County schools where students have been forced to quarantine recently. Let's take a look at the schools dealing with between one and five students being kept home because of a positive COVID diagnosis. Right now, those cases are impacting students and staff at six different school buildings. There are 241 students in quarantine at eight different schools right now, including 68 students at Clarkdale Elementary and one at St. Patrick's Catholic. But there's one very important step that needs to be taken in order to keep kids and teachers in the classroom. We want to get the Relief Act to be able to get resources to schools to provide what they need to make it more safe for the children. Now, if I were king for a day, I would do something that even being king for a day wouldn't allow me to do. I would have enough vaccine to vaccinate all the teachers and get even the children vaccinated. But that cannot happen until production on the current vaccines increases and those shots are eventually approved for younger people. Because right now, Moderna shots are approved for anyone 18 or older, Pfizer's are approved for anyone 16 or older. The next step is for researchers to conduct age de-escalation studies where they can look at the safety and effectiveness of these vaccines on children, which could take several months. Now, studies have shown that schools can safely reopen. We've seen it happen here in Mississippi. Ambition Prep in Jackson was the second school in the entire state to return to all in-person learning last year. And between participation and communication with the parents and taking constant feedback from teachers and staff, that school has managed to stay COVID-19 free this entire time. But until everyone gets vaccinated, getting to that point will require cooperation for everyone in this process. Reporting for Twin States News, I'm COVID-19 Specialist Amanda Decker.